Dr. Uta Frith, an internationally known expert in the field of autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, used this painting on the cover of a book she wrote about autism. Why? To really understand what's happening in this scene, you must attend to where the characters are looking and read their facial expressions. From this information, we can reason that the player on your left is cheating. We can also deduce that the two players in the center are suspicious of him and that the player on your right is unaware. Our ability to pick up on these types of nonverbal cues makes it easier for us to succeed in playing poker and more importantly, in our day-to-day -day interactions with others. People with ASD have trouble with this. One in 68 children are diagnosed with ASD. The social deficits we often see in people on the autism spectrum can be profound, making it harder for them to connect with others and to develop meaningful relationships. These deficits might relate to problems with social attention, specifically in how they attend to faces. Now, most of what we know about attention to faces in people with ASD comes from studies that have used photographs. But in real life, people are never completely still. We use our moving bodies and facial expressions to communicate. So, motion processing is crucial for social understanding. In my research, I used an eye tracker to see where people with ASD looked as they watched movies and pictures of realistic social encounters. I found that people with ASD spent less time looking at faces than typical adults. Critically, this group difference was largest when the people in the scenes were moving. I argue that people with ASD attend less to moving faces because focusing on facial motion is challenging and possibly distressing for them. My findings show that people with ASD have a basic problem with social attention. My research is important because it tells us more about why people with ASD experience social deficits. If we do not attend to people's faces and read their expressions, we're missing out on one of the fundamental ways that people communicate with and relate to one another. Without this, developing and maintaining relationships is that much harder. My research provides new and exciting insights into how people with ASD process the social world around them. These insights are imperative for helping people with ASD to navigate their day-to-day -day social encounters and to thrive in their relationships. Thank you.